Welcome everyone to my channel. This video I'm going to show you how to get back some of the power that you have already paid for. And we're going to use the transfer method to achieve this. Uh, here we have um, some depleted or dead batteries uh, and a little 9 volt torch head that clips onto the 9 volt batteries and gives you a nice little torch. Now the problem with um, some of these uh, batteries is that they still have power remaining in them, some of them. Um, depends on what device you had them in. A lot of these came from uh, electrical meters um, you know, there's the, the multimeters and that sort of thing. Um, so these are completely flat. A lot of the time I leave them, leave the meters on and, and run tests for hours on end. So, um, those are flat. These ones here have a tiny bit of power left in them. I'll demonstrate that. We'll pull one off here and oh, okay that one is telling me it's got nothing right so we will exclude that one then and so what i'm doing here is uh, because they have such small voltages remaining uh, you can see it's, it's very dim not really practical use of light um, and so what I'll do is I'll string them all up in series okay and then we'll get our acceptable voltage um, we place the light it's the same one as that one place the light on the positive and we're doing the same as what we've done in all the other transfers we're running the positives together so positive to the light then out to the positive of the receiving battery this is a rechargeable battery and what we're going to do is transfer the power that's remaining in these that's not usable by normal devices um, you can't drain that last bit and normally um, in the past people would have made a jewel thief to rob those batteries of their last uh, remaining power but um, you don't have to do that you can do that this way um, and reclaim that power so this is the voltage of the rechargeable battery and because these are not rechargeable batteries these won't um, do anything but transfer the power through the load so if we connect this lead here, this is the positive going to the positive of the rechargeable battery. The light will come on and we can see now the voltage is starting to rise. If I turn this overhead light off just quickly, you can see that that light's operational. And it may not be very bright depending on how many of these batteries you've got in series. Um, but rather than just throw those batteries out while they still have energy remaining in them, it would be more sensible to uh, transfer the last of that energy. And basically what you do is you, you keep adding them in series until you get a, su a suitable voltage um ideally you want to be aiming for around about uh, 18 volts in this setup and the reason for that is because we're going into a 9 volt battery so we need to be double the voltage on the primary side compared to the receiving side so 18 volts here is what we try to achieve and 9 volts is what we're feeding into so you can see it's still um, still climbing and that will take 
as long as it normally does for the transfer method to work um, you know it'll, it'll be several hours that that light will be functional for and uh, I'll try and pick these up without disconnecting it and then you can see so the light is uh, decent and working and um, yeah rather than just throwing away your money uh, there's still power left in those I keep all of my batteries and then um, disassemble them in case they've got um, you know, carbon rods or anything inside them that I can use for other experiments so uh, people always think I'm a bit nuts collect collecting all the dead batteries um, but this is at the point where you could use this with double A batteries you could use this with anything if the battery has no power at all so you click connect it up to a light and and there's nothing at all then it's not going to work it needs to have a tiny bit of juice in it for it to function in the transfer process because these batteries are not rechargeable um, and if you placed a f completely flat one in the middle of this series section it breaks that connection so we no longer have a series connected bank and the light won't turn on so you do have to have a tiny tiny bit of power in it but um, you could easily line up you know, um, as many double A batteries as required the dead ones to achieve that 18 volts and then transfer it into the 9 volt battery you could also do the same with just double uh, A's right across the board so you could have all your series lined up double A batteries and then a parallel bank of double A batteries so you know if, if you see anyone throwing away their batteries uh, be that pauper person and ask for their dead batteries um, if you really want to be smart about this you can go and uh, speak to some of the companies that take in dead batteries and ask them if you can have their dead batteries before they uh, do what they do with them and then you may be able to um, uh, harness other people's power as well so they paid for it you can collect it um, all right thank you very much for watching if anyone has sent me messages um, I have some comorbidities uh, and some um, general mental health issues that um, cause me to procrastinate. It's probably the best way to describe it. I procrastinate a lot and I have good intentions to get to your messages. So if you sent me a message and... I haven't responded and it may seem strange to you I respond to some messages on the same video some are left at the same time and then I won't get to um, some of those messages like days later um, that is not me ignoring you that is me struggling to get my act together um, so yeah if I um, if I don't get back to you straight away um, Please don't think it's intentional. I will eventually get to your message and I will eventually answer you. And um, sorry that I'm not more efficient. <laughs> All right. Um, again, thanks for uh, watching. If you watch to the end, please like, share and subscribe. And maybe we can uh, save the world some energy if everybody's doing this. Everybody's taking ringing the last little bit of energy from their batteries uh, then you need to buy one less battery all right thanks for watching have a nice day